What up everybody, it's Cinny, and this is Cinny Cool Gaming. And today we're playing Neverwinter for PS4. And uh, looks like we got level 63 off camera from praying, so sorry about that. We were really close last time. And uh, we got it from praying while I was uh, preparing, so didn't mean for that to happen, but it did. And now we're level 63, so we're one level closer to 70. I uh, also took care of my professions and I did the allocated my points and my feats and all that shit so let's get quest in here and try to finish up in the whispering caverns by talking to Jasper Steele. Don't pity the Durgar. Sure, they're slaves, but even free, they're filled with hate. Wrathforge. According to the Durgar we've interrogated, the mind player leading this illithid incursion is known as Revered Flora. He's hunting for an upper vault where the players think there's some lost god. Few of our prisoners know anything about the upper vaults. Apparently only one Durgar has been there in return. The Forge Master of the Wrath Forge. He's a master smith and overseer that the players either trust or control completely. The guild would like you to enter the Wrath Forge and get the secret of the upper vault from the Forge Master. Are you up to the task? Yes, we are up to the task. Looks like we're doing a dungeon today. That's sweet. Dungeons are awesome, and sometimes they're difficult. So maybe we'll have a challenge today. And it's probably the last quest in this area. So this is the last video where you will have to look at this area. So we'll be moving on after this. But let's get to that dungeon and get her done. I like doing dungeons. Usually there is... Oh, wait a second here. Let's make sure we're not going to the wrong thing. Uh, we want to get a Wrath Forge. There we go. We're probably going the wrong way. Anyway, let's head back. As I was saying, there's usually uh, like two dungeons per area. Uh, as far as dungeons for quests that you can do solo. So, and they're usually fun. Like, the first one's usually pretty easy, and then the second one is usually, hopefully, difficult. Not really difficult, but, uh, gives you a challenge at least. Maybe the boss will at least, uh, put you in some sort of danger. It really depends. I've had, uh, dungeons where I've died. And I've had them where I've just breezed through and not even been close to dying, so... It's hard to say what we're gonna get here. You might be, you might see my first death, or we could just breeze through it like the last dungeon in this area. I don't know. I don't even know if I've ever even done this dungeon because once I got this far in the game, I was usually doing something different uh, to level besides this. But here it is, the Wrath Forge. Let's head in here and get this dungeon done. See what's up with it. Here's some lore for us. Arms dealing in the deep. It is an uncommon weapon of Dro or Durgar fashion that lacks at least some magical properties. But not all these implements of war are equal. The Grey Dwarves have mastered the peculiar metallurgy of the Underdark's magical ores and forged a superior product as a result. Now it seems the Durgar are forging weapons for the Drow. The Illithid control the Durgar. But the Illithid are newcomers to the Whispering Caverns. What do the Illithid seek here? And what do they get in return from the Drow? I guess we're gonna f try to find out. This is the dungeon. This is the Wrath Forge. Clear the Wrath Forge, open the gates, and pull the first lever is what we're doing right now. Killing us some Durgar. Durgar. Maybe some Illithid Mind Flayers. And maybe some Drow. I don't know. Not 
No one crosses this bridge, he says. I think you're wrong, buddy. I think I'm gonna get across that bridge. You had one job, motherfucker, and you didn't do it. You're supposed to prevent me from getting across the bridge, and now you're dead. But I am gonna go off on a slight little adventuring side path here. Wrecking stuff pretty easily. Hopefully the boss isn't the same way. I think I gave the last dungeon too much credit. I was talking about how it was taking three hits to kill things. Instead of me just one shot and everything. And then the boss was a pushover. So... I'm not going to fall for that this time. But you know, they may do this on purpose. They know this is for... You're probably doing this as a single player. Actually, I think you have to. I mean, no, well, you don't have to. You don't have to. Should I go across this bridge or the first bridge? The sight of your face must make the master sick. It makes me sick. Like the Durgar are fighting amongst themselves. And here we come to murder them. Durgar miners. Durgar thrall miners. So they're gray dwarves. They're thralls, which means they're being controlled by the mind flayers, the illithid. Looks like we need to pray. Which I can pray anywhere because of my VIP status. Um, what was I saying? So, the Grey Dwarves, the Durgar, they're Thralls because they're being controlled by Mind Flayers, the Illithid, and then they're also Miners and Guards. That's their jobs. The Durgar Thrall Guard. And here's the Mind Flayers nearby. We're just down here wrecking shit, screwing all their stuff up. Here is the first lever, it looks like. Let's go ahead and pull it. Not sure what, it's, what it did. The future's over there getting into a fight he probably can't handle. Not by himself, anyway. Really need to get him uh, leveled up or uh, put some better equipment on him or something. He's just a supplementary troop, like a, a companion, just for healing and a little bit extra damage. So he's not expected to solo stuff, but when he gets into fights while I'm busy looking at something, he gets down to freaking half, half health pretty quick, and it's annoying. It's like, dude, can you not hold your own for five seconds while I look at this menu or this uh, piece of gear or whatever? So he almost dies. If I get distracted for just like one minute. <laughs> Boom. Let's kill these guys real quick. Mind Flayer Scourge. So I could follow the dust, or I could go back to that first bridge. There might be another lever. I guess pulling the uh, lever opened a gate somewhere, because it says that I opened a gate, and I pulled the first lever, so... Wow. I guess we're going down there. So we're probably going to be going deeper and deeper into this mine shaft. But I want to get back here. I don't want to miss a lever and have to come all the way back even further than I already am. So 
Let's go. Oh, great. Just a broken bridge with the chest. Oh, well. We'll get a treasure, I guess. I'm the type that doesn't like to miss things. Treasure chest. Oh, well, five silver isn't bad. I'll take that. I wonder if I could jump on that pipe. No way I'm going to give it a try, but... <laughs> Luckily, we can sprint, so it won't take too long to get back to where we were. I hate that we backtracked that far just for a five silver, but really that's a lot, five silver. For this game, like, it doesn't give out gold, like candy or anything. I think my highest level character that I play the most, he only has like 90 gold or something, so five silver is quite a bit. For one treasure chest that's just sitting there in this low level dungeon. Not low level, I wouldn't say this is a low level dungeon. It's a level 60-ish 60 60 dungeon. I kind of can't wait to see what's next. Uh, after the Whispering Caverns, I don't think I've ever done the next zone, if there even is one. We may be doing, uh, like, dragon, the, the, we may be doing, like, campaigns or something next, I'm not sure. We'll probably see next week, obviously. That or I'm gonna do a Astral Diamonds video. I've, I've been talking about it for a couple weeks now, but I gotta do a lot of research. I wanted to get a million Astral Diamonds first, which I've done. But, I want to make sure I give you guys all the information and do a good job at it and not just uh, repeat stuff that other people have half-assed, you know? I want to give you half-assed information that I got from somebody else. I want to give you complete information from me, a guy that has a million AD and three level 70s and I'm working on my fourth, you know? Because I could say, oh, pray and do your, uh, do a cloak. There you go. That's how you get a million AD. Yeah, and is that, is that the base of it? Maybe. Is that what, is that what, is that the best thing you can do? Maybe. But when people, is that, when that's all they say and they have a video called How to Make Astro Diamonds, there's other things you can do, and they should give you more information than that, and that's what I'm going to do. Every trick I know to get diamonds, I'm going to put it on that video, and I want to I want to work on it for a couple more weeks, and then uh, I'll give it to you guys. So I don't know where we ended up really going... Oh, da-da-da. Okay. We're heading down, down. I'm still not sure about this build. I don't really pay much attention until I get to 70. Because I don't want to have to like change it around and stress about it while I'm only level 63. There's no reason to have a, a set build yet. So I'm not doing anything that where I need it that bad. <laughs> I'm just having fun and leveling right now, so once I'm done doing that... Um, I might even try... So I've done Guardian Fighter, uh, Great Weapon Fighter, Warlock, and Paladin. So I might just try, at least, I might try more. I might try... Hey, the Forge Master. Is this the boss here? I might try uh, the other ones, too.
All right, let's hope for a good fight. I just want a good fight here. Let's have them last more than a couple seconds. That'd be great. All right, here we go. The Forge Master. So he's like a master smith. Big bad Durgar, great dwarf, master smith. Now he's not going down like a bitch. Buddy is down. His buddy's joined in a little too late there. That might have been a little harder if they had all joined in a little sooner. I think a boss like that needs to have like 10 adds. Or at least 5. He had like 2 and then he had like 3 more join in when he's already dead. Armor of Carnage. Armor pin. Lots of armor pin. Decent defense. Mm, I might be able to use that. I like that. So objectives are complete. Wrath Forge is complete. We beat the Forge Master. I'm going to look around a little bit. We got to return to Jasper Steel. And then they're probably going to tell us to return to Pre Protector's Enclave. Because the only thing left here is going to be a dungeon that requires more than two or three people. More than just me. And since we're doing solo stuff, we're just going to ignore it for now and head to the next zone. Alright, let's talk to Jasper. Jasper Steele. So that was the probably the last dungeon as far as soloing goes in this zone. Anything else you have to queue up for? Uh, that, that boss seemed like he had decent armor but he wasn't really doing much damage to us and uh, he ended up lasting longer than the last boss but still not exactly what I was hoping for but it's still fun to go through a dungeon and uh, fight a boss so and to be done with this area. and get to head on to a new area next week. Okay, Jasper Steel. Don't pity the Durgar. The path is through the Iron Heart, eh? I think I know what that means. The Forge Master spoke of the Iron Heart. I have a feeling I know what that's all about. There seems to be some sort of portal in the Crucible. Our guild wizard, Soren Ravaris, and a few companions are investigating it as we speak. My guess is the portal leads to the upper vault. If Soren has found a way through, then it might be open to you as well. The portal lies just beyond the bridge that spans the Crucible. Make your way through it, find Soren, and see what he's learned. Hmm. There may be more here. The upper vault. So we gotta find a portal? Go to the upper vault and talk to Soren. Uh, and that looks like that'll at least be a new area of the Whispering Caverns. But that's it for now. We did a dungeon. We killed the Forge Master. We're level 63. And we're headed to a portal next week. To the upper vaults to talk to Soren. So I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for joining me. Please sub. And please tell a friend to sub. Bye.